we move on to the next point which was uh, let's say presented by C Wright Mills he talks about power elites elites are actually the decision makers in the society uh, the such decisions which govern the overall functioning of the society so his central thesis is that the country is governed by uh, power elites so they have the power to take decisions uh, in different aspects of life and he broadly talks about three areas one the economic sphere the other is the political sphere the other the third one is the military sphere and he also brings in the unions as well but basically he is focusing on three types of elites and these are the corporate rich that's the economic sector of the society the military warlords well they are running the war machinery of the of the of the country and uh, they are again having big power uh, with respect to the decision making and thirdly is the political directorate so he is focusing on three types of elites they represent the the they represent the three big areas uh, that is the economic military and political institutions so all of them form an integrated and united power elite although for the sake of analysis we see that they are separate entities but they are integrated with each other um, perhaps uh, not only integrated they are rather interdependent so that determines the basic structure and direction of the society so these three power elites uh, give the direction to the society uh, which way they have to uh, the, the society has to move and what could be its the policies policies with respect to that's the economy the polity and the and the military so they are these elite groups uh, are large size and uh, they have a highly centralized uh, kind of uh, operational system again same kind of a bureaucratic system that might be uh, a board of uh, governors or board of directors where the important decisions uh, are taken so there is no con- no conscious conspiracy among these elites and uh, we also see that there could be uh, disagreements uh, between the leads elites within one sector that's the uh, economy economic sector or the political sector the groups could also disagree with each other although they are the integrated uh, kind of uh, uh, system part of the system but the differences uh, can emerge do emerge so may not share exactly the same interest so interest could clash but then the the uh, let's say achievement of the interest of one group uh, um, may be uh, dependent very much with the cooperation of the other let's say sector of the of this uh, system uh so their decisions and actions have wide range ramifications for one another as well as for the overall society so the uh, economy the polity and the military these three actually run the country and uh, the, the their decisions are actually uh, affecting the Uh, society uh, the other members of the society so even uh, situations might eri- arise when they uh, have conflicting interests but definitely elite interests are supreme in the society which implies uh, that uh, the other people the the few elites the few powerful people in different sectors of the society are the decision makers are the rulers of that uh, let's say economy or polity or or military 
but the others have just to follow. So it implies that society is sharply divided horizontally. The few people on the top and maybe lots of people at the, at the bottom might be similar to Marxian kind of approach where he, he thinks that the economic resources are, let's say, controlled by uh, few capitalists and others are actually uh, uh, laborers who work on those resources. So that is how the organizations in the society are bureaucratic organizations, and these could be in the economic sector or the political sector or the military sector, and the few people uh, work and operate and take the decisions. The decision-making is centralized, and they govern the masses.